my name is Wendy and welcome to my YouTube channel and my first video. Uh, I am an absolute cosmetic makeup perfume junkie. I am not new to doing reviews whatsoever. <laughs> yes, on YouTube and on video. Actually, I have spent about 15 years on Makeup Alley. I'm still an active member. I have hundreds of uh, videos uh, on that platform. Not videos, I keep saying this. Reviews, yeah, Makeup Alley, there are no videos. I have tons of reviews on there. I have made amazing friends on Makeup Alley and a lot of them are also now on uh, YouTube. I decided to start this channel on YouTube because I am a woman over 50 with mature skin and I did think that there is a lot of room for creators in my age group. I am not looking to make a career on YouTube or to earn money on YouTube. I just want to make honest reviews and hopefully meet some wonderful people on the way who I can share my passion and my hobby with, which is cosmetics. Actually, I am a finance professional in the computer industry, but I did go back to school some years ago in 2002, 2003, uh, and I became a board certified esthetician of the facts. So this is how much I loved cosmetics. I decided to actually get a degree. So I hope you guys stick around. I will not only be doing cosmetics i might do a bit of lifestyle blogging sometimes because i do travel a lot by the way i'm located in germany so i will also be reviewing a lot of the products from the apothecary or uh, not german drugstore it's a bit different than the drugstore but it's it's a a place for buying your makeup and skincare it's somewhat in between the what you would call drugstore and the department store it's pretty much a place for um buying makeup and skincare for extremely sensitive skin well with this introduction i hope it wasn't too long i just wanted to tell you a little bit about myself we can get on with my first video and how fitting i did choose lisa eldridge because i am so excited that she has come out with a new foundation so what did i get from the new launch I got um, two lipsticks. One is uh, Cinnabar. Yeah, I think by now everybody knows how her lipsticks are looking. I got Velvet Dragon, which is, this is not new. She's had this for a while, but every time I wanted to order this lipstick, it was always sold out because I was never there on the first day. So I was finally able to pick up Velvet Dragon because I think all the other people were picking up the new shades. And then I got Velvet Cinnabar. So I am very excited about this. I am actually wearing the color at the moment. I have a ton of Lissa Eldridge lipstick, but honestly, um, I have Cinnabar here. It does not resemble any of the other shades that I have, so I am terribly happy about that. It's a really nice rust red color, but we will get into this later. I will 
do a swatch with that and some of the other lipsticks. I am so excited that Lisa decided to launch her um, foundation line. I got two of the cards. Yeah, the first one I got in the medium two set and this is the color 21 to 24. And the second set, yeah, I had to open it. I am actually wearing one of the colors at the moment. The second set that I got was um, medium deep set one. The colors are 25 to 26 and I will leave them uh, on the screen somewhere. The foundation in and of itself, I'm wearing it. I would have loved to have tried it uh, live. However, I have glasses at the moment. I do not have my contact lenses and it's a bit difficult doing a live, um, a live session, especially a foundation with glasses. So I decided to apply the foundation and you can see it in the video and I can just give some swatches of uh, what it looks like. So Lisa says the foundation for the tar. This is an intelligently formulated self-setting foundation blends effortlessly to smooth and unify skin with a natural looking soft focus finish. I actually think so. It was a pleasure applying this foundation. The skin friendly formula gives customizable medium coverage that, fo that fuses seamlessly with your skin. Start with a little and build to your desired level of enhanced perfection. And on the back of the card, there is, um, what do you call this? A QR code where I guess you can do a tutorial or really see how to apply the foundation. <laughs> I think at my age, I have tried enough foundation. I will, I will look at it later, but I think this is very important for people who are really wanting to know uh, to have more details about the foundation. By the way, I am normally uh, around a MAC NC 44, 45 in Guillain foundations. I normally take shade 24. Sicily, my color is cinnamon, uh, which is 4 plus. And I would say Estee Lauder 5W Bronze, yeah? Um, at the moment, my skin is about two shades uh, darker because I just came from Southern Europe. I went on a hiking trip and it was quite hot. So I again have a summer tan. The colors in the medium two set I decided I would leave this, I don't know if you can see this, I would leave this for later, maybe two, three weeks from now, when um, my skin has lost a bit of color. I think the shade number 22 or 23 would be, this is 22, 23 would be my perfect, um, winter shade so the color that i am wearing is actually shade 25 and shade 25 is described as medium let me see what is it shade 25 it's medium deep with golden undertones and i think honestly i have a table next to me where i am keeping the products and 
my iPad, so I'm reaching here every now and then. I hope it doesn't disturb you. But um, it's medium deep with golden undertones, and I think it's it blends and it works very well at the moment. So if you are in the tone of NC4445 and you still have a tan, the color 25 is really nice. I tried 28 and 27 were too dark. 26 was okay. So, um, my impression of the foundation so far. I really like the foundation. It's lovely and it's truly self-setting. I did not powder it. I applied it and um, then I went back and dabbed over my skin where I did have a bit of hyperpigmentation. Underneath, I am wearing Victoria Beckham's Agostina's Bada um, Primer. It's one of my favorite. Wouldn't you know, my, um, my battery <laughs> died in the middle of my first video. But no problem, this is the first video, it's not going to be perfect. I am not at all um, expecting a work of art, so we'll continue. Um, where was I? Yeah, the overall wear of the foundation. Applying the foundation was lovely. I mean, it spread effortlessly, it did not clump, it did not tug on the skin and I do have mature skin, I'm over 50. I have had it on now for I would say about two hours. I have not noticed the foundation setting into any of my fine lines and wrinkles. Normally I have a bit of problems around the mouth area. So, so far so good. I mean, I cannot tell you it's an amazing foundation because this is the first time I have applied the foundation. Normally I would like to wear a foundation for a week or two before recommending it to anyone. But I think what most people are coming here for with a new foundation review or first impressions. So I will now do some swatches. The color that I am wearing is 25. And this is what this foundation looks like in the color 25. I did allow the swatches to dry a little so you can get a better color um, idea. So this is 25, 26, 27 and 28. I hope the swatches were okay. I, I was having a hard time with them. I don't know why. I normally like to allow uh, uh, this, the foundation swatches to dry a little prior to showing them or taking pictures. Then you get a bit better idea of the true color. So all in, in all, this foundation honestly is looking quite good. I am, um, as stated, I will wear it for the rest of the day and then I will come back on and let you guys know 
if I noticed anything out of the ordinary, but like I said with the foundation, prior to saying buy or no buy, I like to wear it uh, a bit longer. Um, because you never know, uh, because foundations react differently depending on what you have underneath. Um, for example, if you are wearing a moisturizer or a primer, which does not agree where the chemicals in the foundation and in the primer work against each other, you might not have a good result. Yeah, so I will come back at some point again with a real review on the foundation. It's just my first impressions today and I like what I have seen so far. Mm, I am also loving the Cinnaba lipstick. So thank you for watching my video. I do not want to make this too long. I am going to film one or two more shorter videos tonight. And if this is your first time, please subscribe to my channel. I am really wanting to have a channel where I can have a lot of fun on YouTube. I will do some giveaways, especially of products which are only available in Germany or in Europe. So please subscribe and let us, let me know what you think so far of uh, this channel and let me know of anything you would want me to review anything you are wanting to order from Europe that you don't have in the US and you would like to have some idea of whether or not it's worth the time, the money. I know shipping is quite expensive between the continents. So thanks for watching. God bless and hope to see you on my channel again.